Épilogue La cigale et le poète Le poète ayant chanté, déchanté, vit sa muse presque bu, rouler en bas de sa nue de carton, sur des lambeaux de papier et de ripaux. Il alla montrer sa mine à la scie devant voisine, la priant de lui prêter quelques sous pour acheter un acheteur à son livre. « Mais vous étiez donc bien ivre, ivre de vous, animal, à mettre dans un bocal. Vous pouvez si bien le dire et si bien ne pas l'écrire. » J'y pensais en revenant. « On n'est pas parfait, Marcel. »« C'est tout comme, » dit la belle, « si vous chantiez maintenant. » Epilogue, the cicada and the poet. The poet, having lilted, wilted, seeing his muse, almost sows, roll to the bottom of her cloud, of cardboard, onto shreds of paper and lurex threads. So he went to show his face at his next-door neighbour's place, begging her to lend him a few pence so Lucky Jim could buy a buyer for his book. Were you laced or fully cooked? Half stewed on you. Better by far to have you pickled in a jar. You might have used your wit and just not written it. I was thinking, as I came, how one is far from perfect, Marcel. Oh, said she, it sounds as if hell, you're going for a song right now.